Indonesia uh, we, we are not able to trace many of our uh, uh, many of the students. They are taken to unknown locations and nobody knows where they are. And that is completely. I mean, this is very uh, dangerous. And the police should, uh, the administration and the police should immediately release these students. So this is a serious uh, situation over here. And the vice chancellor has again created this sort of a, uh, situation on campus with the help of uh, uh, the government. We cannot allow uh, such a situation to uh, uh, no go on. Even the media is not allowed uh, uh, inside campus. I mean. What sort of uh, country are we living in? The outside world also should know what is happening uh, in campus. Students, uh, uh, now many students say that the, the internet connection is uh, 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 disconnected. Uh, they don't have water uh, facility. Now th there are many places in hostels, students complain that they are not getting food. What is the government uh, trying to do? I mean, just to uh, install one person here as the vice chancellor, this is what the government is uh, putting the students through. This is completely unacceptable. First, uh, all the progressive democratic student organizations, all all those who fight for social justice, we are all together. There is no politics involved in it. We are here to fight for justice for Rohit Vamula. Now the university the vice chancellor himself was responsible for his death. Now they are doing uh, by sending him again here as the vice chancellor and doing uh, taking such extreme step, taking unleashing such uh, sort of violence uh, on students. The, the, uh, uh, the government is trying to crush the voices of students. They are trying to crush the voices so of dissent.